Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part two of my video blog for August the 22nd, 2009. Uh, first, of course, we got my gecko related updates out of the way. We got, uh, let's see, we also talked about uh, my Uncle Rodney giving my sister Cindy and my nieces Cindy, Ray, and Julie some stuff they needed for their house. And that my Uncle Rodney also got married last night. And that the puppies turned uh, 21 weeks old today. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we now continue on with this entry. Uh, speaking of Julie, uh, she got voted as the most likable new student in Faulkner High School. And, uh, so, that is a cool thing to have. And she'll also be in the annual with the principal, uh, as, a, as well as in the annual in general. But, uh, that's going to be pretty cool. I hope she can afford an annual because I would love to see that annual. Uh, and also to see who's in, who is in the school now that I know that I knew way back when I went. Um, by that I mean those that were like, you know, related to me that are still there. Uh, I know two that are there and one of them is not very likable. Naturally she's a Jeter as well. Related to me. But I won't go any further than that. <clears throat> Thank goodness I'm out of school now. <laughs> anyway, continuing on. As I said, it's been a pretty slow week. Um, I pretty much uh, stayed to myself most of the week because I quite honestly didn't really feel all that well. Uh, of course, I've been doing some test builds with Sea Monkey, which I should have put in the first block, but I didn't. Uh, obviously, those were the 2.1 base builds. They didn't pass, which is why I mentioned what I did in the first block. Um, and anyway, other things. Let's see. Uh, finally, finally, I think I have finally found the right combination of medicine that calms myself down as far as my nervous stomach and everything goes. Granted, it's like four different pills that you take at the same time, but whatever works, you go with it until it quits working. So, finally, I think I found what will work. Uh, so, we'll just hope that it continues to work. And if it does, that'll save me going to the stomach doctor and probably having a tube shoved up me. Not down me, but up me. I've already had a tube shoved down me. Down my throat. I don't need anything sh shoved up me. As far as uh, tubes go. <clears throat> anyway, moving on. I just had to put that little trinket in there for the heck of it. Yes, I am very ambiguous. Anyway... Um, let's see. Of course, we let Julie go to a football game. Uh, we took Julie to a football game last night. I don't exactly know who won. All I know is when I walked down there near the end of the game, which is about mm, ten minutes before she called here saying that the game was over, because obviously I walked from the house to where I could see the scoreboard and then walked back because I thought the game might have been over. There was still like 5 minutes and 42 seconds left on the clock and it was like, uh, 32 to 25. I don't know who had 32 and who had 25. I would like to hope that Faulkner was the one that had 32, but I don't, I can't remember. And I wasn't paying attention to the news on television last night, the local news to uh, know who won 
ought to know that eventually. Not that it really matters to me. It would have been just it just would have been neat if uh, Julie went to the her first football game down here and Faulkner actually won. Uh, so, uh, but she's doing good here. Uh, I have to say she's 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 getting used to it a little bit more and more. I think she'll learn a little bit more down here because there are less people than there was at Lake Corinth. And I apologize still because I cannot pronounce that right. My tongue will just not let me do it. And, uh, so, uh, of course, her, uh, vocal thoughts, she's kind of like me. She'll speak her mind. Even if she's thinking it in her head, she'll speak what she's thinking. And that kind of gets her sometimes into a little bit of trouble, but everybody does that once in a while, so really, that's nothing. Sure, they're a little bit more stricter down here, I think, but after all, um, it just makes a, it just makes things a little more interesting. Julie will always do something to make a person laugh, like. Yesterday, for example, uh, I'll try to get this in really, really quick because I said this is a two-part, not a three-part entry. Well, at one of the mayoral candidates' uh, website, uh, MySpace pages, Prince Mongo, for those who live in the Mid South, and she just—it was hilarious. Uh, it, if you read it as a normal person, if, let me rephrase that. If you read that by yourself, or you don't read it out loud, you'll think the guy's nuts. And if you are listening to somebody reading it, you'll think that that person's nuts, and it's funny as hell. Now me, not being one to judge anybody, believes that, well, they can, a person can pretty much say whatever they want within, you know, as, you know, try to use the word respect here, um, even though that can be kind of hard to do at some points, um, but still the point is, you know, it's just, you know, free speech, you know, you say whatever you want, as long as it doesn't, you know, isn't racist or anything, even even though you can say that too, but you know, it, it, I ain't getting into that crap, what am I talking about? Anyway, uh, I guess I took stuff from my head and my back, so my, my, blah, 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 you know what I mean. My mind is not completely there, or is it? I don't know. Anyway, uh, last little bit I have that I can think of to say is that I hope everybody has a good weekend. Uh, a couple, uh, not this coming weekend, but next weekend. Uh, my niece Julie, she will be going to Horn Lake to see her friends while my other niece Cynthia Ray comes down to visit for Labor Day weekend. So, Labor Day weekend ought to be pretty interesting for the both of them, and me, and pretty much everybody else around. Maybe we'll actually get to do some more stuff than we have been able to recently. But, anyway, um, uh, with all that being said, um, that's pretty much all I can think of at this point. Thank goodness for some people, I imagine. <laughs> but anyway... I am Daniel Peter, and I will see you next time. Let me show you just what.